Hey everybody, Camper Van Kevin here. How are y'all doing today? Well, well, I had a video planned. I always heard if you wanted to make God laugh, tell him you got plans. But uh, I am up about, I'm well over nine, between 9,000, 9,200 feet in elevation. And I had purchased uh, an outdoor survival type device. And uh, I was going to demonstrate it. So, uh, I come up to my high elevation campsite and uh, well actually there is a fire tower there close by. It's got a picnic table and a little concrete slab where the people that stayed in the tower could stay in their RV at, uh, at night or back and forth. So uh, I got up there and uh, windy, rainy. And the thing that I wanted to demonstrate uses fire. Not too good, windy and rainy. So I drove past my high elevation campsite and uh, there's a kind of a, a dirt road coming by it. And I was like, oh, I wonder where that goes. And I said, well, I'll just set up whenever the weather clears and I'll show all my, all my subscribers, all my viewers. Yeah, that was about 25 miles ago. <laughs> I've just been picking my paths and going in real slow. Uh, no, it's still raining. So obviously this is not Miss Gypsy or Miss America. <laughs> um, I was driving through town the other day and... Um, this little 4x4 four four was sitting on the side of the road... Stopped and looked at it. Me and my buddy, we were headed down uh, to get some groceries in a town about 25 miles from where we're at. And uh, we saw it and pulled over. And we were going to come back, look at it again, and test drive it. It's too late when we came through. So anyway, went back the next day. Bought it. <laughs> But uh, I'm 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 not ready. I'm not ready to show it to you. I, I'll tell you a little bit about it, a little bit, because this is going to be its own video. Mother Nature had another idea. It's a '91 model. It's a one owner, and the old man that had it took very very good care of it, and. Uh, he just got old. Wasn't using it no more. Wasn't driving it. I would say I bought it, but I feel like I stole it. Um, but there's some things I want to do to it before I... It was rain. There's some things I want to do to it before I share it with you fully. Yesterday, I went and put tires on it. and uh, But I couldn't have bought a... I couldn't have bought a motorcycle or a four-wheeler for what I got in this thing. And it's got 100,000 miles on it. The maintenance is incredible. It has air conditioning. It's a hard top. <laughs> Gets, uh, I got the original window sticker on it. And when I bought it, when I bought it, it had a, a file folder, it had two file folders this thick, plus several manuals. I got it back at the RV. So I thought, well, since I uh, can't show you the survival device, and uh, well, I'll tell you a little bit about what I'm doing. <laughs> but it's almost ready for prime time. Martini's been sitting on my leg here, and uh, 
she's been getting rained on a little bit but uh this country up here i'm really a little scared to go too much further i mean this thing's been doing good really really good but i don't know if i should trust it or not i think i can i think i will come on let's go look i'll let y'all see where i'm going what we're doing the babies like it you like it baby may may yeah i like it a lot what about you martini daddy yeah martini you know i like it better than that old motorcycle you got that motorcycle why baby because when you went and rode it, I had to stay in the RV with these other two. I didn't get to go. And I was worried you might have an accident and not come back. Well, baby, I come back every single time. Yeah, it kind of scared me, too. And I, I don't like being by myself. Martini picks on me when you're not around. Is that true? I plead the fifth. Tucker, you like it? Man, this thing's great. I got my own seat and everything. I like it a lot. You like it more than a motorcycle? I can't ride no motorcycle with you, Daddy. Well, all right. Well, let's go show. Let's go. Let's go show all our our friends what where we're at and what we're doing. That's a good idea. <laughs> One hundred six thousand. Well, now I could have went out and bought a side by side, and that would have run me anywhere from fifteen to thirty thousand. But like I said, I don't have no money in this, and I don't need anything really. I'm putting a valve cover gasket on it. I put brakes on it. I put tires on it, and uh, just a couple of odds and ends. I'm, I'm almost ready to show you the outside, but. Let me show you where I'm at instead. So this is what we've been doing. I'm in some wild country, y'all. Bump, 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 bump. You see any critters? I'll tell you, Daddy, you let me out and I'll bite them. Alright. Four wheel low. Got automatic hubs on this thing too. I don't have to get out and get wet. Martini says enough getting rained on. Some pretty country. Now don't get me wrong. I love Miss Gypsy. I am not going to sell Miss Gypsy. No, well, I don't have any plans to sell Miss Gypsy. Never say never. But I don't have any plans. Let me put this thing in some four wheel drive. Let's go four wheel drive low. But uh, I want to do a little overlanding. So I'm going to fix this little thing up to go camping in places like this like I said I'm I'm I don't know I can I have to be at least 10 miles probably 15 or more probably 20 pavement Look, the snow still over on the mountain over there but uh, I'm gonna set Miss Gypsy up semi-permanent at my friend's house and I'm gonna take this little thing and uh, camp in places that are more secluded. I wanna get you guys, I'm gonna take you guys with me. And I'm gonna get into some wild places. That's the plan. Y'all like that? Look at the snow over there on the mountain. This rain's cold. That's why Martini got 
one over and sit back in her seat. This makes my fifth side this makes my fifth geo tracker sidekick. I believe I'm gonna keep this one. So yeah, I'm gonna keep Miss Gypsy. I'm going to overland, camp remotely, whatever you want to call it, with this new little 4x4 right here. So I'll be gone a week or two in this and come back and stay a week or two in this Gypsy. Maybe take her out for a week or two and come back. But uh, it's kind of looking like I'll have an RV base camp in New Mexico. Thanks to some really great friends. So Kevin, that survival device must not work too good. If you can't use it in the wind and the rain. You know what? I'm sure it would work just fine. I just don't want to get outside and film in it much. That's what I'd be doing. All right, well, might as well show it to you. I've already told you so much about it. I'm, I'm not done. I'm not finished with it. But it's a 1991 Suzuki Sidekick. It's the same thing as a Geo Tracker. Exact. The parts interchange. They're just badged differently. It's four wheel drive. I got automatic hubs. It's a five speed. It's a 1.6 liter eight valve engine. 106,000 miles. Put BF Goodrich tires on it yesterday, including the spare. It's got uh, aftermarket wheels on it. It's got a, a new header on it, new exhaust. Pretty darn good shape. Running lights on it. It's muddy. Can't believe I'm showing it to you dirty like this. So here we are. In the backdrop of that snow back there. If that's not a picture, never was. Let's see if I can get all three dogs in the picture in the snow. I think I did. So, yeah, I did it. <laughs> okay, well, this looks like a good place to end the video. So I'm going to end it where? Right here. I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you guys so much for watching my videos. Hey, we will see you again soon. You guys take care. Bye-bye. I'm going to be doing a lot of things to this little sidekick. We're going to a lot of new places. Places I haven't seen. Places you probably haven't seen either. So stay tuned.
believe that's that same group of horses that we saw the other day. I'll bite them, man. You let me loose, I'll bite them. No, Tuck, they're not bothering nobody. Let's leave them be. Pretty things.